Gothenburg. Gothenburg, abbreviated GBG, is the second largest city in Sweden and the fifth largest in the Nordic countries, and part of Vostra Jutland County. It is situated by Kattegat, on the west coast of Sweden, and has a population of approximately 570,000 in the city center and about 1 million inhabitants in the metropolitan area. Gothenburg was founded as a heavily fortified, primarily Dutch, trading colony, by royal charter in 1621 by King Gustavus Adolphus. In addition to the generous privileges, for example tax relaxation, given to his Dutch allies from the then ongoing Thirty Years' War, the king also attracted significant numbers of his German and Scottish allies to populate Hissenly town on the western coast. At a key strategic location at the mouth of the Gota Alf, where Scandinavia's largest drainage basin enters the sea, the port of Gothenburg is now the largest port in the Nordic countries. Gothenburg is home to many students, as the city includes the University of Gothenburg and Chalmers University of Technology. Volvo was founded in Gothenburg in 1927. The original parent Volvo Group and the now separate Volvo Car Corporation are still headquartered on the island of Hesing and in the city. Other key companies are SKF and AstraZeneca. Gothenburg is served by Jutaborg Landvetter Airport southeast of the city center. The smaller Jutaborg City Airport, from the city center, was close to regular airline traffic in 2015. The city hosts some of the largest annual events in Scandinavia. The Gothenburg Film Festival, held in January since 1979, is the leading Scandinavian film festival with over 155,000 visitors each year. In summer, a wide variety of music festivals are held in the city, such as Way at West and Metal Town. The city was named Jutaborg in the city's charter in 1621 and simultaneously given the German and English name Gothenburg. The Swedish name was given after the Gota Alv, called Gota River in English, and other cities ending in Borg. Both the Swedish and German slash English names were in use before 1621 and had already been used for the previous city founded in 1604 and burned down in 1611. The city council of 1641 consisted of four Swedish, three Dutch, three German, and two Scottish members. In Dutch, Scots, English, and German, all languages with a long history in this trade and maritime-oriented city, the name Gothenburg is or was, in the case of German, used for the city. Variations of the official German-slash-English name Gothenburg in cities 1621 charter existed or exist in many languages. The French form of the city name is Gothenburg, but in French texts, the Swedish name Jutaborg is more frequent. Gothenburg can also be seen in some older English texts. In Spanish and Portuguese the city is called Gothenburgo. These traditional forms are sometimes replaced with the use of the Swedish Jutaborg, for example by the Jutaborg Opera and the Jutaborg Ballet. However, Jutaborg's Universität, previously designated as the Jutaborg University in English, changed its name to the University of Gothenburg in 2008. The Gothenburg municipality has also reverted to the use of the English name in international context. In 2009, the city council launched a new logotype for Gothenburg. Since the name Jutaborg contains the Swedish letter O, the idea was to make the name more international and up to date by turning the O sideways. The name is spelled Gothenburg on a large number of signs in the city. In the early modern period, the configuration of Sweden's borders made Gothenburg strategically critical as the only Swedish gateway to the North Sea and Atlantic, situated on the west coast in a very narrow strip of Swedish territory between Danish Holland in the south and Norwegian Bohuslän in the north. After several failed attempts, Gothenburg was successfully founded in 1621 by King Gustavus Adolphus, Gustav II Adolf. The site of the first church built in Gothenburg, subsequently destroyed by Danish invaders, is marked by a stone near the north end of the Alsport Bridge in the Farginas Park. The church was built in 1603 and destroyed in 1611. The city was heavily influenced by the Dutch, Germans, and Scots, and Dutch planners and engineers were contracted to construct the city as they had the skills needed to drain and build in the marshy areas chosen for the city. The town was designed like Dutch cities such as Amsterdam, Batavia, Jakarta, and New Amsterdam, Manhattan. The planning of the streets and canals of Gothenburg closely resembled that of Jakarta, which was built by the Dutch around the same time. The Dutchmen initially won political power, and it was not until 1652, when the last Dutch politician in the city's council died, that Swedes acquired political power over Gothenburg. During the Dutch period, 
the town followed Dutch town laws and Dutch was proposed as the official language in the town. Robust city walls were built during the 17th century. In 1807, a decision was made to tear down most of the city's wall. The work started in 1810, and was carried out by 150 soldiers from the Boss Regiment. Along with the Dutch, the town also was heavily influenced by Scots who settled down in Gothenburg. Many became people of high profile. William Chalmers, the son of a Scottish immigrant, donated his fortunes to set up what later became the Chalmers University of Technology. In 1841, the Scotsman Alexander Kyler founded the Gothenburgian Shipbuilding Company that was in business until 1989. His son James Kyler donated Kyler Park to the city in 1906. The Gothenburg coat of arms was based on the lion of the coat of arms of Sweden, symbolically holding a shield with a national emblem the three crowns, to defend the city against its enemies. In the Treaty of Ruskila, 1658, Denmark-Norway ceded the then Danish province Holland, in the south, and the Norwegian province of Bås County or Bohuslän in the north, leaving Gothenburg less exposed. Gothenburg was able to grow into a significant port and trade center on the west coast, because it was the only city on the west coast that, along with Marstrand, was granted the rights to trade with merchants from other countries. In the 18th century, fishing was the most important industry. However, in 1731, the Swedish East India Company was founded, and the city flourished due to its foreign trade with highly profitable commercial expeditions to China. The harbor developed into Sweden's main harbor for trade towards the west, and when Swedish emigration to the United States increased, Gothenburg became Sweden's main point of departure for these travelers. The impact of Gothenburg as a main port of embarkation for Swedish emigrants is reflected by Gothenburg, Nebraska, a small Swedish settlement in the United States. With the 19th century, Gothenburg evolved into a modern industrial city that continued on into the 20th century. The population increased tenfold in the century, from 13,000, 1800, to 130,000, 1900. In the 20th century, major companies that developed included SKF. 1907, and Volvo, 1927. On the evening of 13 Augusti 2018 in Sweden, 89 vehicles were set on fire in several districts in Gothenburg and Trollhattan, in what police assumed was a coordinated attack by assailants described as youth. In total, 11 different locations were targeted. Gothenburg is located on the west coast, in southwestern Sweden, about halfway between the capitals Copenhagen, Denmark, and Oslo. Norway. The location at the mouth of the Gota Alf, which feeds into Kattegat, an arm of the North Sea, has helped the city grow in significance as a trading city. The archipelago of Gothenburg consists of rough, barren rocks and cliffs, which also is typical for the coast of Bohuslän. Due to the Gulf Stream, the city has a mild climate and moderately heavy precipitation. It is the second largest city in Sweden after capital Stockholm. The Gothenburg metropolitan area, Storjöteborg has 982,360 inhabitants and extends to the municipalities of Ale, Alingses, Jordaborg, Herida, Kungalf, Lerum, Lilleadet, Mongol, Partil, Stenungsun, Dürn, Akra within Vostri Jordaland County, and Kungsbaka within Holland County. Engard, a suburb outside Gothenburg, consists of Jalbo, Eriksbo, Ranbergen, Hammerkullen, Gardsten, and Lovgardet. It is a million program part of Gothenburg, like Rosengard in Malmo and Botkirka in Stockholm. Engard had about 50,000 inhabitants in 2015. It lies north of Gothenburg and is isolated from the rest of the city. Bergjön is another million program suburb north of Gothenburg, it has 14,000 inhabitants. Biskopsgarden is the biggest multicultural suburb on the island of Hisingen, which is a part of Gothenburg but separated from the city by the river. Gothenburg has a humid continental climate, closely bordering a oceanic climate, according to Köppen Climate Classification, CFB, DFB, although it totally fits in the second in the zero degrees Celsius isotherm. Despite its northern latitude, temperatures are quite mild throughout the year and warmer than places in similar latitude, for example Stockholm, or even somewhat further south, mainly because of the moderating influence of the warm Gulf Stream. During the summer, Daylight extends 18 hours and 5 minutes, but lasts 6 hours and 32 minutes in late December. The climate has become significantly milder in later decades, particularly in summer and winter, 
July temperatures used to be below Stockholm's 1961 to 1990 averages, but have since been warmer than that benchmark. Summers are warm and pleasant with average high temperatures of and lows of, but temperatures of occur on many days during the summer. Winters are cold and windy with temperatures of around, though it rarely drops below, but it occur during many winters. Precipitation is regular but generally moderate throughout the year. Snow mainly occurs from December to March, but is not unusual in November and April and can sometimes occur even in October and May, in extreme cases even in September. Gothenburg has several parks and nature reserves ranging in size from tens of square meters to hundreds of hectares. It also has many green areas that are not designated as parks or reserves. Selection of parks. Very few houses are left from the 17th century when the city was founded, since all but the military and royal houses were built of wood. A rare exception is the Skansen Kronen. The first major architecturally interesting period is the 18th century when the East India Company made Gothenburg an important trade city. Imposing stone houses in neoclassical style were erected around the canals. One example from this period is the East India House, which today houses the Jutaborg City Museum. In the 19th century, the wealthy bourgeoisie began to move outside the city walls which had protected the city. The style now was an eclectic, academic, somewhat over-decorated style which the middle class favored. The working class lived in the overcrowded city district Aga in wooden houses. In the 19th century, the first comprehensive town plan after the founding of city was created, which led to the construction of the main street, Kungsport Savenayan. Perhaps the most significant type of houses of the city, Landschuftinghausen, were built in the end of the 19th century, three-story houses with the first floor in stone and the other two in wood. The early 20th century, characterized by the national romantic style, was rich in architectural achievements. Mast Hug Church is a noted example of the style of this period. In the early 1920s, on the city's 300th anniversary, the Gotaplatzen Square with its neoclassical look was built. After this, the predominant style in Gothenburg and rest of Sweden was functionalism, which especially dominated the suburbs such as Bostra Frölunda and Bergjön. The Swedish functionalist architect Huno Aron served as city planner from 1932 through 1943. In the 1950s, the big stadium Alivi was built when Sweden hosted the 1958 FIFA World Cup. The modern architecture of the city has been formed by such architects as Gert Wingard, who started as a postmodernist in the 1980s. Gustav Adolf Square is a town square located in central Gothenburg. Noted buildings on the square include Gothenburg City Hall, formerly the Stock Exchange, opened in 1849, and the Nordic Classicism Law Court. The main canal of Gothenburg also flanks the square. The Gothenburg Central Station is in the center of the city, next to Nordstan and Drottning Torget. The building has been renovated and expanded numerous times since the grand opening in October 1858. In 2003, a major reconstruction was finished which brought the 19th century building into the 21st century expanding the capacity for trains, travelers, and shopping. Not far from the central station is the Skans Kaskrapen, or more commonly known as the Lipstick. It is high with 22 floors and colored in red-white stripes. The skyscraper was designed by Ralph Erskine and built by Skanska in the late 1980s as the headquarters for the company. By the shore of the Gota Alvet Lillebaumann is the Jutaborg Opera. It was completed in 1994. The architect Jan Izikowitz was inspired by the landscape and described his vision as something that makes your mind float over this squiggling landscape like the wings of a seagull. Feskakorka, or Fiskalen, is an indoor fish market by the Rosenlandskanalen in central Gothenburg. Feskakorkan was opened on 1 November 1874 and its name from the building's resemblance to a Gothic church. The Gothenburg City Hall is in the Bozar architectural style. The Gothenburg Synagogue at Storenigadan, near Drottning Torget, was built in 1855 according to the designs of the German architect August Kruger. The Gunnebo House is a country house located to the south of Gothenburg, in Molenbill. It was built in a neoclassical architecture towards the end of the 18th century. Created in the early 1900s was the Vesa Church. It is located in Vashastan and is built of granite in a Neo-Romanesque style. Another noted construction is Brudermassen TV Tower, one of the few partially guide towers in the world. The sea, trade, and industrial history of the city is evident in the cultural life of Gothenburg. It is also a popular destination for tourists on the Swedish west coast. 
Many of the cultural institutions, as well as hospitals and the university, were created by donations from rich merchants and industrialists, for example the Roska Museum. On 29 December 2004, the Museum of World Culture opened near Korsvagen. Museums include the Gothenburg Museum of Art, and several museums of sea and navigation history, natural history, the sciences, and East India. Erisium, close to the Yerdeborg City Airport, is an aircraft museum in a former military underground air force base. The Volvo Museum has exhibits of the history of Volvo and the development from 1927 until today. Products shown include cars, trucks, marine engines, and buses. Universium is a public science center that opened in 2001, the largest of its kind in Scandinavia. It is divided into six sections, each containing experimental workshops and a collection of reptiles, fish, and insects. Universium occasionally hosts debates between Swedish secondary school students and Nobel Prize laureates or other scholars. The most noted attraction is the amusement park Lisberg, located in the central part of the city. It is the largest amusement park in Scandinavia by number of rides, and was chosen as one of the top 10 amusement parks in the world, 2005, by Forbes. It is the most popular attraction in Sweden by number of visitors per year, more than 3 million. There are a number of independent theater ensembles in the city, besides institutions such as Gothenburg City Theater, Bochka Theater, Youth Theater, and Folk Tietern. The main boulevard is called Kungsportsavenen commonly known as Avenin, the Avenue. It is about long and starts at Gotaplatsen, which is the location of the Gothenburg Museum of Art, the city's theater, and the city library, as well as the concert hall, and stretches all the way to Kungsportsplatsen in the old city center of Gothenburg, crossing a canal in a small park. The Avenin was created in the 1860s and 1870s as a result of an international architecture contest, and is the product of a period of extensive town planning and remodeling. Avenin has Gothenburg's highest concentration of pubs and clubs. Gothenburg's largest shopping center, eighth largest in Sweden, Nordstan, is located in central Gothenburg. Gothenburg's Aga district is known for its picturesque wooden houses and its cafes serving the well known Aga Bull, a large cinnamon roll similar to the Canal Bull. Five Gothenburg restaurants have a star in the 2008 Michelin Guide 28 Plus, Basement, Fond, Cock, and Vin, Fisk Ekrigen and Shoma Gassinet. The city has a number of star chefs. Over the past decade, seven of the Swedish Chef of the Year awards have been won by people from Gothenburg. The Gustavus Adolphus Pastry, eaten every 6 November in Sweden, Gustavus Adolphus Day, is especially connected to, and appreciated in, Gothenburg because the city was founded by King Gustavus Adolphus. One of Gothenburg's most popular natural tourist attractions is the southern Gothenburg Archipelago which is a set of several islands that can be reached by ferry boats mainly operating from Saltholmen. Within the archipelago are the Augsburg Fortress, Vinga and Styrso Islands. The annual Gothenburg Film Festival, is the largest film festival in Scandinavia. The Gothenburg Book Fair, held each year in September. It is the largest literary festival in Scandinavia, and the second largest book fair in Europe. The International Science Festival in Gothenburg is an annual festival since April 1997, in central Gothenburg with thought-provoking science activities for the public. The festival is visited by about people each year. This makes it the largest popular science event in Sweden and one of the leading popular science events in Europe. Citing the financial crisis, the International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions moved the 2010 World Library and Information Congress previously to be held in Brisbane, Australia, to Gothenburg. The event took place on 10-15 August 2010. Gothenburg has a diverse music community. The Gothenburg Symphony Orchestra is the best known in classical music. Gothenburg also was the birthplace of the Swedish composer Kurt Atterberg. The first internationally successfully Swedish group, instrumental rock group The Spotniks came from Gothenburg. Bands such as the soundtrack of Our Lives and Days of Bass are well-known pop representatives of the city. During the 1970s, Gothenburg had strong roots in the Swedish progressive movement, Prague, with such groups as National Tietern, Ninningen, and Motbind. The record company Naxving and the editorial office for the magazine Musikinsmacht which also were part of the Prague movement was located in Gothenburg during this time as well. There is also an active indie scene in Gothenburg. For example, 
The musician Jens Lechman was born in the suburb of Angerdan named his 2007 release Night Falls Over Cordadala after another suburb, Cordadala. Other internationally acclaimed indie artists include the electro-pop duo's studio, The Knife, Air France, The Tough Alliance, songwriter Jose Gonzalez, and pop singer Al Perro Del Mar, as well as genre-bending quartet Little Dragon fronted by vocalist Yukimi Nagano. Another son of the city is one of Sweden's most popular singers, Håkan Hellström, who often includes many places from the city in his songs. The glam rock group Supergroupies derives from Gothenburg. Gothenburg's own commercially successful at the gates, in flames, and dark tranquility are credited with pioneering melodic death metal. Other well known bands of the Gothenburg scene are thrash metal band The Haunted, progressive power metal band Evergrey, and power metal bands Hammerfall and Dream Evil. Many music festivals take place in the city every year. The Metal Town Festival is a two-day festival featuring heavy metal music bands, held in Gothenburg. It has been arranged annually since 2004, taking place at the Fryumnen venue. In June 2012, the festival included bands such as In Flames, Marilyn Manson, Slayer, Lamb of God, and Mastodon. Another popular festival, Way Out West, focuses more on rock, electronic, and hip-hop genres. As in all of Sweden, a variety of sports are followed, including football, ice hockey, basketball, handball, baseball, and figure skating. A very amateur and professional sports club scene exists. Gothenburg is the birthplace of football in Sweden as the first football match in Sweden was played there in 1892. The city's three major football clubs, IFK Göteborg, or Greit is, and Guys share a total of 34 Swedish championships between them. IFK has also won the UEFA Cup twice. Other notable clubs include BK Hecken, Football, Pixbo Wallenstam IBK, Floorball, Multiple National Handball Champion Redberg Sledsik, and four-time National Ice Hockey Champion Frölunda HC, Gothenburg had a professional basketball team, Gothia Basket, until 2010 when it ceased. The Bandy Department of Guys, Guys Bandy played the first season in the highest division elite series and last season out the group stage match between the main rivals Sweden and Russia in the 2013 Bandy World Championship was played at Arena Heden in central Gothenburg. The city's most notable sports venues are Scandinavium, and Alivi, multi-sport, and the newly built Gamla Alivi, football. The 2003 World All-Round Speed Skating Championships were held in Rudhallen, Sweden's only indoor speed skating arena. It is a part of Rudhallen's IP which also has a bandy field and several football fields. The only Swedish heavyweight champion of the world in boxing, Ingemar Johansson, who took the title from Floyd Patterson in 1959, was from Gothenburg. Gothenburg has hosted a number of international sporting events including the 1958 FIFA World Cup, the 1983 European Cup Winners' Cup Final, an NFL preseason game on 14 August 1988 between the Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings, the 1992 European Football Championship, the 1993 and the 2002 World Men's Handball Championship, the 1995 World Championships in Athletics, the 1997 World Championships in Swimming, Short Track, the 2002 Ice Hockey World Championships, the 2004 UEFA Cup Final the 2006 European Championships in Athletics, and the 2008 World Figure Skating Championships. Annual events held in the city are the Gothia Cup and the Gothenburg Svarvet. The annual Gothia Cup is the world's largest football tournament with regards to the number of participants. In 2011, a total of 35,200 players from 1,567 teams and 72 nations participated. Gothenburg hosted the 13th FINA World Masters Championships in 2010. Diving, swimming, synchronized swimming and open water competitions were held on 28 July to 7 August. The water polo events were played on the neighboring city of Boraz. Gothenburg is also home to the Gothenburg Sharks, a professional baseball team in the elite Starian division of baseball in Sweden. With around 25,000 sailboats and yachts scattered about the city, Sailing is a popular sports activity in the region, particularly because of the nearby Gothenburg Archipelago. In June 2015, the Volvo Ocean Race, professional sailing's leading crude offshore race, concluded in Gothenburg, as well as an event in the 2015 to 2016 America's Cup World Series in August 2015. The Gothenburg Amateur Diving Club, Yadabor's Amateur Dakar Club, has been operating since October 1938. 
Act. Due to Gothenburg's advantageous location in the center of Scandinavia, trade and shipping have always played a major role in the city's economic history, and they continue to do so. Gothenburg Port has come to be the largest harbor in Scandinavia. Apart from trade, the second pillar of Gothenburg has traditionally been manufacturing and industry, which significantly contributes to the city's wealth. Major companies operating plants in the area include SKF, Volvo, both cars and trucks, and Ericsson. Volvo Cars is the largest employer in Gothenburg, not including jobs and supply companies. The blue collar industries which have dominated the city for long are still important factors in the city's economy, but they are being gradually replaced by high tech industries. Banking and finance are also important, as well as the event and tourist industry. Gothenburg is the terminus of the Val de Mario de Boer gas pipeline, which brings natural gas from the North Sea fields to Sweden, through Denmark. Historically, Gothenburg was home base from the 18th century of the Swedish East India Company. From its founding until the late 1970s, the city was a world leader in shipbuilding, with such shipyards as Eriksberg's Mekaniska Verkstad, Gotaverken. Arend Alsvarvet, and Lindholmens Varv. Gothenburg is classified as a global city by C, with a ranking of Gamma Minus. The city has been ranked as the 12th most inventive city in the world by Forbes. Gothenburg became a city municipality with an elected city council when the first Swedish local government acts were implemented in 1863. The municipality has an assembly consisting of 81 members, elected every fourth year. Political decisions depend on citizens considering them legitimate. Political legitimacy can be based on various factors, legality, due process, and equality before the law, as well as the efficiency and effectiveness of public policy. One method used to achieve greater legitimacy for controversial policy reforms such as congestion charges is to allow citizens to decide or advise on the issue in public referendums. In December 2010 a petition for a local referendum on the congestion tax signed by 28,000 citizens, was submitted to the city council. This right to submit so-called people's initiatives was inscribed in the Local Government Act, which obliged local governments to hold a local referendum if petitioned by 5% of the citizens unless the issue was deemed to be outside their area of jurisdiction or if a majority in the city council voted against holding such a referendum. A second petition for a referendum, signed by 57,000 citizens, was submitted to the local government in February 2013. This petition followed a campaign organized by a local newspaper, Jadaboras Tidningen, whose editor-in-chief argued that the paper's involvement was justified by the large public response to a series of articles on the congestion tax, as well as out of concern for the local democracy. Approximately 75% of Gothenburg's inhabitants were born in Sweden. According to Statistics Sweden, 140,093 foreign-born people resided in Gothenburg municipality in 2016 which is about 25% of the population. Gothenburg has two universities, both of which started as colleges founded by private donations in the 19th century. The University of Gothenburg has about 38,000 students and is one of the largest universities in Scandinavia, and one of the most versatile in Sweden. Chalmers University of Technology is a well-known university located in Johannesburg, south of the inner city, lately also established at Lindholmen and Nora Alf Stranden, Hesingen. In 2015, there were 10 adult education centers in Gothenburg, Agensburg's Folkhogskola, Arbetar Erlsen's Folkhogskola i Jodeborg, Finska Folkhogskolen, Folkhogskolen i Angard, Jodeborg's Folkhogskola, Kvinna Folkhogskolen, Mogard Folkhogskola, Esta Burgitas Folkhogskola, Vostra Gudalans Folkhogskola and Wendelsberg's Folkhogskola. In 2015, there were 49 high schools Gothenburg. Some of the more notable schools are Sigrid Rudbeck's Gymnasium, Vatfeltska Gymnasiat, Jadabor's Hoger Samskola, Mikhail Elias Tiratiska Gymnasium, Polhams Gymnasiat, Donner Gymnasiat and IHGR. Some high schools are also connected to large Swedish companies. SKF Technical High School belongs to SKF and Gothenburg's Technical High School belongs to Volvo. An international school with campuses in Gulheden and central Gothenburg is called the International School of the Gothenburg Region. With over of double track, the Gothenburg tram network covers most of the city and is the largest tram slash light rail network in Scandinavia. Gothenburg also has a bus network. Boat and ferry services connect the Gothenburg archipelago to the mainland. The lack of a subway is due to the soft ground on which Gothenburg is situated. 
Tunneling is very expensive in such conditions. The Gothenburg commuter rail with three line services some nearby cities and towns. Other major transportation hubs are Central Station and Gothenburg Central Station, and the Nils Ericsson Terminal with trains and buses to various destinations in Sweden, as well as connections to Oslo and Copenhagen, via Malmo. Gothenburg is served by Jutaborg Landvetter Airport, located about 20 kilometers, 12 miles, east of the city center. It is named after nearby locality Lawnvetter. Flight Bazarna offer frequent bus connections to and from Gothenburg with travel time 20 to 30 minutes. Sweepus, Flixbus, and Netbus also serve the airport with several daily departures to Gothenburg, Boros, and other destinations along European Route E4. Vastrafik, the local public transport provider in the area, offers additional connections to Lawnvetter. The airport is operated by Swedish national airport operator Swedavia and with 6.8 million passengers served in 2017, it is Sweden's second largest airport after Stockholm Arlanda. It serves as a base for several domestic and international airlines, for example Scandinavian Airlines, Norwegian Air Shuttle, and Ryanair. Jodeborg Landvetter, however, does not serve as a hub for any airline. In total, there are about 50 destinations with scheduled direct flights to and from Gothenburg, most of them European. An additional 40 destinations are served via charter. The second airport in the area, Göteborg City Airport, is closed. On 13 January 2015, Swedish airport operator Swedavia announced that Göteborg City Airport will not reopen for commercial services following an extensive rebuild of the airport started in November 2014, citing that the cost of making the airport viable for commercial operations again was too high, at 250 million kroner, $31 million. Commercial operations will be gradually wound down. The airport was located northwest of the city center. It was formerly known as Safe Flag Platz. It is located within the borders of Gothenburg municipality. In addition to commercial airlines, the airport was also operated by a number of rescue services, including the Swedish Coast Guard, and was used for other general aviation. Most civil air traffic to Jodeborg City Airport was via low cost airlines such as Ryanair and Wizz Air. Those companies have now been relocated to Lonvetter Airport. The Swedish company Stina Line operates between Gothenburg slash Frederikshaven in Denmark and Gothenburg slash Kiel in Germany. The England Ferry, England's Fargen, to Newcastle over Christiansand, run by the Danish company DFDS Seaways, ceased at the end of October 2006, after being a Gothenburg institution since the 19th century. DFDS Seaways' sister company, DFDS Doorline continues to run scheduled cargo ships between Gothenburg and several English ports, and these used to have limited capacity for passengers and their private vehicles. Also freight ships to North America and East Asia leave from the port. Gothenburg is an intermodal logistics hub and Gothenburg Harbor has access to Sweden and Norway via rail and trucks. Gothenburg Harbor is the largest port in Scandinavia with a cargo turnover of 36.9 million tons per year in 2004. Two of the noted people from Gothenburg are fictional, but have become synonymous with people from Gothenburg. They are working class couple called Cal and Ada, featured in Gothenburg jokes, Gothenburg's bizarre, songs, plays, and names of events. Each year, two persons who have significantly contributed to culture in the city are given honorary titles of Cal and Ada. A bronze statue of the couple made by Sven Robert Lundquist was placed outside the entrance to Leesburg in 1995. Some of the noted people from Gothenburg are Academy Award-winning actress Alicia Vikander, cookbook author Sophia Van Poret, footballer Gunnar Gren, artist Ever Taub, golfer Helen Alfredson, industrialist Victor Hasselblad, singer-songwriter Bjorn Nilvaeus, diplomat Jan Eliasson, British Open winner and professional golfer Henrik Stenson, and YouTuber PewDiePie, who is the most subscribed user on YouTube. The Gothenburg Award is the city's international prize that recognizes and supports work to achieve sustainable development, in the Gothenburg region and from a global perspective. The award, which is 1 million Swedish crowns, is administrated and funded by a coalition of the city of Gothenburg and 12 companies. Past winners of the award have included Kofi Annan, Al Gore, and Michael Biddle. Gothenburg is twinned with With Lyon, France, there is no formal partnership, but a joint willingness to cooperate. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.